have this uh, corrugated metal that we're making these, this roofing stuff, okay? Um, just to start filling in the blanks. Uh, on mine, this U is 36, okay? So that's 36 inches wide altogether there. Uh, and it's 2 inches thick, okay? Uh, and we're doing that by processing a flat sheet of metal. Uh, the equation for that flat sheet of metal uh, and the sine wave on the side there is y equals sine of pi x over 9. And it wants to know what the width of that is. So the, the width of that metal would just be the arc length here, right? Okay. So I'm thinking about the arc length has to be equal to 36. So let's look at the derivative. So y prime is uh, pi over 9. Uh, times cosine of pi x over 9. Mm -hmm. I'm using my little chain rule stuff. Uh, then we're going to have to square that, of course. So y prime squared is going to be pi squared over 81 times cosine squared of pi x over 9. Okay. So my arc length, um, I have 40. Where'd that come from? 36. It is equal to the integral okay, and square root of 1 plus pi squared over 81 times cosine squared of pi x over 9 dx and then what are the bounds um, <clears throat> Okay, and then the bounds, well, that's 36 inches. Uh, hold on, let me, let me. Uh, yeah, we had a, a 36 inch panel, all right? Okay, so that's gonna go from zero to 36. And wait a minute, hold on. Find, oh, I, I don't know why I have the 36 here. Okay, I just, I'm just looking for the arc length. Okay. How long is that piece of metal? Um, now, it, I guess if I am evaluating this one, um, uh, what can we do? Oh, it says use the calculator. That's what we can do. Um, so I'm going to graph this thing in the calculator. Okay. Um, <clears throat> And I'm going to come up with uh, y equals a, mm, hold on. And I don't know why I put, let's y anyway, let's put L for length. So I'm coming up with about 37.07 when I type that into the calculator. Um, so, you know, this piece is the, the y equals. Um, and then to, to do the integral, just do um, second trace. And that'll take you to the calc menu. And then choose number seven. And then you put in the lower limit uh, is zero. And then the upper limit would be the 36 in this case.